Okay, today we're going to go through how to add a SoundCloud uh, song and set or player on your page. So you want to go to SoundCloud, log into your account, and then you can go to a song that you'd like to embed on your page. So we'll just pick this song for example. Uh, we'll go into the, uh, once you click it, it takes you to the song. And then you'll see the share option. So click that and click edit your widget. And then you'll see, first you have a couple of options. You can pick different colors for your buttons. Um, you have an option there to play it automatically or and to show the artwork or not show the artwork. So you can pick those. And then you want to highlight and copy that embed code right there. Then we're going to go back into our site, go into apps, and scroll down to the embed HTML app. And we're just going to install this here on our page. And then once that's added, we're going to click Edit on the app. And we're going to highlight, remove, and paste in our embed code. Click Save. That's adding our song. And then we're going to click out, and we can see our SoundCloud player here. So this is a single player for an individual song. We test it out there. It looks nice, working well. Um, we can also add a set, which is basically a playlist. So we can go into our... Um, click around in our SoundCloud account, we'll find a set. Um, so we can click into sets here. And same thing, we can click any of our sample sets here. We'll click the this one here. Again, share, same process, edit your widget. Um, you can pick colors, pick the options, the same as a song, except this will play a series of songs if you want to have, you know, if you have different recordings, whether that's speeches or um, uh, talks or interviews or songs, whatever you'd like to display, copy that code, same thing, add a new embed HTML app. Um, so we'll just add it below here just for this example, and then you're just going to paste in the code. So same same idea, except you can have through SoundCloud both a individual song embedded, as we did in the first example, and then here we're showing how to do a set or a playlist. So that's how it works. Um, you can adjust your columns if you need to and your players will adjust fluidly and then you can jump into preview mode to see how, uh, how they look and test them out. Thanks for watching and we'll cover some other audio players soon.